Open your book to page 161. Today's lesson is on polynomials. On uh, page 161, you have the definition 5.1. It says a polynomial is an expression of the form, and you have this uh, expression over here. So basically what it's saying is that for polynomial, every term must be in the form of ax to the n. a is any real number, and n is a positive integer. So if when you have expression that every term is in this format, then it is a polynomial. Now to sketch polynomial, uh, let's look at some of the basic uh, uh, form of the, of the graph. Okay, so if you have x to 1, so if the exponent is 1, basically you, your graph will have one direction. So that's 1. If I x to the 2, it's going to look like that. Right? So you got 1, 2. Right? If it x to the 3 power, Again, so the exponent is 3, so you're going to get 3 directions, so it's going to look like this. Right? So you got 1, 2, 3. Right? If x to the 4, it's going to look like this. Right? Because you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you have x to the 5, it's going to look like this. Right? So you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so this is for positive. Now, if you have a negative x to 1 power, if your leading uh, term is negative x to 1 power, then it's going to go down. So again, if it's negative, it's going down. If it's positive, it's going up. Okay, it's going up if it's positive. If it's going down, it's negative. And if you have negative x to the 2 power, it's going to look like this. Right? Again, 1, 2, right? 2 power, 2 directions. If you have negative x to the 3 power, it's going to look like this. Right? So it'd be 1, 2, 3. If you have negative x to the 4 power, it's going to look like this. Right? It looks like an M. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you have x, negative x to the 5 power, it's going to look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So again, each power will give you one direction. So this is kind of the general shape of the, 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 of the sketch for the polynomial. So if you, if you go to page 163, and let's go to example 2. Example two, you have y equal to x squared minus four, x squared minus one. So first, let's go and factor this out so you can get the x-intercepts. So y equal to x plus two, x minus two, x plus one, x minus one. And so your x-intercepts, x-intercept is when, y, when we make this y equal to 0. So x-intercept is when, when uh, y equal to 0. And the way to do that is just get this equal to 0. So you're going to get negative 2. So again, when, when x equal to negative 2, it will make this equal to 0. 0 times anything will give you 0. So when x equal to negative 2, y equal to 0. Right? And that, 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 that's your x-intercept. Right? So from this, you get this. From this, you get 2. From this, you get negative 1. From this, you get positive 1. And you also, you want to get the y-intercept. The y-intercept is when you make uh, x equal to 0. x-intercept is when x equal to 0. Okay. So when x equal to 0, you use this one here. This is easier to evaluate. So you make x equal to 0, so this is gone, so you got negative 4. When x equal to 0, this is gone, so you got negative 1. So you got, so you got negative 4 times negative 1 give you positive 4. So can you just make x equal to 0 over here? You can get that. So those are your critical informations. So now let's go ahead and do the, uh, let's go and do the, the sketching. Okay, so you got negative 2 over here and positive 2, right? And negative 1 over here, positive 1. And the y-intercept, Y-intercept is where it cross over the Y. X-intercept is where it cross over the X. Okay, so that's your X, that's your Y. Again, all these are your basic uh, background from your, uh, from the algebra, right? Okay, so Y equal to 4, that's your Y-intercept. Again, when X equal to 0, Y equal to 4. And this is the fourth power. If you notice that you have X squared, X squared, when you multiply, you get X to the fourth power, right? So it's going to be, looks like a W, okay? So your graph is going to go like this. Okay, now this low point over here, since this is only a sketch, so it doesn't have to be exact. 
So this is just kind of approximate. So you don't really worry about how low this thing is. But if you do the graphing to be exact, usually because this is a symmetrical uh, equation, uh, symmetrical graph. So to find this, you just make x equal to 1.5. See over here, right? This is, this is one and this is two. So let x equal to 1.5 and you put in one of this equation, it can figure out this point. But again, this is only sketch, so you don't really have to worry about exactly where this point is. The key points are your intercepts, the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. And so that's your sketch for example two. Okay. Now let's go to example one. Example one, you have y equal to x squared minus one. You got x minus two squared. So again, you're going to go and factor that. So you're going to get x plus one, x minus one, now, you have an x minus 2 squared, and this is a double root, right? This is a, this is a double, so you have to watch for that. So, again, your x-intercept, x-intercept is equal to negative 1, positive 1, and this is going to be 2. And so this is a double, okay? And I'm just going to call it, um, I'm going to call it double root, okay? So this is a, uh, okay, let's just do db, double, okay? And then the well, y-intercept is when x equal to zero. So again, when x equal to zero, this is gone. So you got negative one, right? So you got negative one. And when you, they, again, y-intercept is when x equal to zero. And so this will give you negative two squared, will give you positive four. And so this will give you negative four. Okay. So now you have all this information. And again, this, this is the fourth part, right? x squared is, is two power and you got x squared over here is 4 power. So this is the fourth power. So n equal to 4, the fourth degree. So the graph's going to look something like this, like a, like a, a w. Okay? okay, so let's go and sketch this. Okay, so you have x intercept at negative one, so that's one point over here, and you got um, one over here. Now two is a double, so you think of it as like a two points. Okay, think of it as like a two points connect together. Okay. So again, this is this is a double, right? So think about normally the graph would be like this, right? Normally the graph would be so you got one point one, one point here, right? But when a double means two points merge into one, so when this gets squeezed together, your graph will look like this, right? Because look, look here, normally you got two points like that. Normally graph will go down like that. But when the, when the two points get closer, it becomes like that, right? And when it get closer, even closer, it becomes like this, right? Okay, right, see that? Now when double means two becomes one. So again, you got four points, right? So dub, double, so you got the, the double intercept is when two becomes one. And so you can see that when two becomes one, it becomes like that. Okay, so again, you can see that right now, they're far apart, so, that, so you can see obvious. But as it get closer, this becomes smaller, smaller. But double means two becomes one. The two points it become a single point, and so you will touch and go. Okay, so when, the, when it's even power, it will not go through. Okay, only the up power will go through these. Okay. And you have an intercept over here. Now this is not symmetrical, so the graph may go over a little bit. Okay, so this is not, not going to be the lowest point. Okay, and so your graph is going to look like that. So again, if it's a if it's a uh, even power like fourth power, top, uh, two power, it will not go through. Only the the R number like one, three, five, it will go through. Okay. Okay. Now let's go to example three. Example three, you're solving the inequality. You got x squared minus four, and you got x squared minus one is greater than zero. So to solve this, what you need to do is first, again, just like what we did earlier, let's go and uh, get all the intercepts. So you get x plus two, x minus two, x plus one, x minus one is greater than zero. So your, so your x intercept are negative two from here, from this you get two, from this you get positive, uh, from this you get negative one, from this you get positive one, okay? And again, when you're doing the intercept, okay, don't, don't worry about the inequality, just treat it as an equal, okay? Think of this as an equal, so 
y intercept okay again y intercept when x equal to zero so this is gone and this is gone right so you got negative four times negative one will give you positive four again y intercept is when x equal to zero right and again when you do what you, what you do is you're looking for critical points so you treat think of this as an equal okay don't worry about inequality right now so these are your information so this is like the, the one we did earlier right okay so go and sketch it out first okay so again don't worry about inequality yet at this point go and just sketch these things out so you got x intercept at negative 2 positive 2 and you got negative 1 positive 1 and positive 4 okay, so that's your y intercept so your graph looks like this I right, can we already did this before right so kind of just do it again just to, okay so that is your sketch now but remember now y is a function of x so what you need to do is think of this as a y think of this as your y so you think of this is y greater than zero so you're looking for y greater than zero okay again y is a function of x so this whole thing think of this as a y so you're looking for the part that is y greater than zero okay and so the part that you're looking for is this part over here right that, that's y greater than zero this part is no good okay so you, you're looking for this part okay and this part over here so that's the part that that is what you're looking for now you have to switch but you're looking for x okay so this is part of graph that you're looking for but you're looking for the part that is x so from here so this part of here is x is less than by the way is it is it, it, less than so actually this is an open circle right open circle so why so so this is your negative one negative two one two right so over here so the answer you're looking for is x less than negative two or when you have more than one piece you, you're going to have or and this part over here it can just match it up so negative one is negative one and this part is the the x and less than one so negative one less than x less, less than one is this part over here or this part of his x is greater than two and so that would be your answer okay. okay let's go to example four You got f of x is equal to x plus 1 cube x minus 1 to the fourth x minus 4 and x minus 5 is less than 0. Okay, so notice that this is a triple, this is a fourth, right? And so you have to watch for that. So again, x intercept is equal to negative 1 and positive one and this would be four and five and if you the, the y intercept again is when x equal to zero so when you set x equal to zero you get one to the three so it's one set x equal to zero you get negative one to the fourth power is one set x equal to zero you get minus four set x equal to zero you get negative five so this will give you 20, okay? So y intercept will equal to 20. So it's kind of big. Okay, so now let's go and sketch. Now when you're doing a sketching, you don't even have to be exact. So like over here, right? You can just have the... So you got negative one. Now you have to watch now, this is a triple, right? And positive one, this is the, the fourth power, so it's quad, right? So you have to kind of make a note of that. And four over here, and the five. Now, this is going to be, so it'd be three, four, and seven, eight, nine. So there's nine powers, so it's going to be a lot of wiggling, right? But anyway, but because of the triple and quadruple, so it's not as bad. But again, all these are pos if you multiply, all this coefficient is positive, right? This is positive, 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 positive. 
That means the graph is going to start in this way. Okay? So it's going to go like this. Okay? And it's going to go down. Now, over here, this is quadrat quadruple, right? So it's even. The even does not go through. Okay? And it's going to go through 20. Now, again, you don't want to be exactly the same scale because this is 1. So if you make this into 20, it's going to be way out there. So you don't have to. You can make this at 20. Even though this is like 1, 2, 3, 4. So they don't have to be on the same scale. So this goes through here. Okay. Again, this is only a sketch. So you don't have to wait. But exactly if it goes higher or lower, it doesn't matter. It just, just get that point. And the quadruple will go through. Okay. Again, just, this is just kind of rough idea of what it looks like. Again, this is a sketch. So you don't want to be exact. Okay. You, just have one, you just want to have something to look at. So now, again, you're looking for... You're solving this, right? So this is your y. So you're looking for y less than zero. So the y less than zero is only this part over here and this part right over here. And this is less than, so you, 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 the answer you're looking for are those orange part. So this part over here, you're going to get x less than um, negative one. Right? This is negative one, negative two, right? So x is less than negative one. Or, now this part would be 4 less than x less than 5. Okay. And you, you have to watch it in equality. There's, notice there's no equal, right? So there's no equal. You just follow the exactly same uh, symbol. Okay. And, and that's it for example 4.